Damn right. Damn right. Me. You and me on a lifeline, yeah, yeah. You and me on a lifeline, yeah, yeah. You and me on a lifeline. You and me on a lifeline, yeah, yeah. Me on a lifeline. You and me on a lifeline, yeah. Damn, call. Forget my own lyrics. It happens. Ooh. We lost a month of listener. It is what it is. It happens. <clears throat> anyway, shout out to Tall in Estonia. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Phoenix, USA. Shout out to Boys, USA. And shout out to Milford, USA. Appreciate the love. Always appreciate the love. Appreciate what you got, you know? Appreciate what you got. That's what's up. Stay hydrated. <sighs> Daily TikTok. Nah, pussy boy. Nah, where you at? Bye-bye. 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 Uh. They salty. They salty. They lost the first round. Oh, Yo. trust you don't want the smoke. Oh, you're cooked, buddy. Yo. Cooked. Show them what's up. Why am I getting the cops on my ass? Oh yeah, Are nah. Are you serious? I'm helping you. Nah, I got cooked. I am literally helping you. Why are you on my asshole? Paul. <laughs> nah. Hey, two hearts stole. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I don't want it. Hey, one heart stole. Appreciate what you got, you know? That's what's up. That one guy, bro. Whoever you are, appreciate it, bro. Why you bullying me? Oh, this is my shit. It's about to blow. You on this period? Pause. I feel like that. Yeah, I feel like that. Ooh. What the fuck? I'm cooked. I'm not scared. The real voice. Yeah, come get me, pussy hole. Oh, I guess I he got, got you. I got one though. Man, this makes no sense. Why the cops just on my ass? That's true though. And why can't I just get a ticket? Why you gotta come for my head, bro? Yeah. There's no way. My shit got cooked. Right. All broken. Shit in my ass. Uh, I don't want it. No skimmy toilet. Four hearts, I'll take it. Hey. Appreciate y'all. No this. No lanky box. No ice spice. No kiaks. No no digital circus. No sick W. No skimmy toilet. No this. No Why lanky did it box. No ice spice. No kiaks. No. No digital circus, no Sigma, no Rizla, no YouTube shorts, and no complaining about my rule. The whipping happy Easter. <laughs> Uncle, stop! I'm not a girl! I'm your nephew Peter! Give me some of you little shit! Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I'll well. fucking kill you! Hell, Uncle. Yeah. to finally play Minecraft inside of Minecraft. But why? Yeah. Bro got 
about cancer. Yeah, I get too crazy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That ain't Batman. That's sex, That's man. Sex, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm rubbing peanut butter on my cock. Bro, what is this song? No skip. I'm rubbing peanut butter all over my cock. Loki goes hard though, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you know what? Again, that one guy, whoever you are, hey, I deeply appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. And I'm gonna get through drowning. I'll stop. Um. I'm doing normal zones. How y'all doing? Hopefully, um, good or at least normal. Yo. Anyway, it is Tuesday, Monday. No, what? Tuesday, Monday. Tuesday, AI. Or AI Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rubbing peanut butter all over my cock. Pause. No. You do you. I'm gonna peanut butter over my cock. What's the point of this? <laughs> Leaves. Oh wow. <laughs> Pause. Okay, I'll stop. Pause, I just checked. Okay. Con I mean, you said continue. Okay. You know, that's not normal, is it? You said continue. I know. I thought you were joking. I was, though. So you aren't really doing it? Yeah. Oh, God damn. You wanted me to do it? Hey, yo. You weird for that? Nah, you weird. The fuck? You're the one rubbing peanut butter on yourself. You're the one watching and jacking off. <clears throat> oh, hell no. Brug Burger. I don't even know how I react to that. This could be the toilet. I'm rubbing peanut butter on my cock. No. Why so skibbity? Please stop. Okay. This is why you don't have a girlfriend. Says you. You don't have one either. And? You cannot blame me for being single when you are single too. You started the blame. Brug Burger. You're the one to blame. Shut up. Brug Burger Gang. Can you stop? Brug Burger Gang. 
Shut it, Brugberger gang. But Brugberger gang. What? Okay, fine, I'll stop for now. Yeah, Brugberger gang. No. Brugberger, you're either in or out. If you start, I, again, I will literally block you. Brugberger gang. I told you not to do it. Now you leave me no choice. Blocks you first. I could just make another account and still have to put up with your bullshit. <laughs> you wanted to block me, but I blocked you first. So you're going to make a new account to continue the bullshit that you wanted to block. What? Alright, we have anything new? Anything interesting? Queso. I already played Queso. Pause. A virus? Maybe. Time Traveler, maybe. What the fuck? SpongeBob. Okay. Walter, I already talked to Walter. <coughs> no clue what TF2 is supposed to be. Stepsis. Okay, bro. Amazing Grace. Is that like a horror, like, um... Uh, the shits. Juvenile detention. That was kind of sus, though, because I'm over 17. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid that. Homelander. Okay, could be something. Username Raider. Fuck it, I guess. Another Walter White. Walter. Adventure game could be interesting. Alternative timeline could be interesting. Maybe. Already did that. I'm in a laboratory. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of new ones, actually. Interesting. Okay. Computer virus. You are a computer virus on a computer. Jay would be scrolling through their computer files looking to clear up disk space as they needed it for a new game. They soon found a file virus. they didn't recognize. It was labeled lilautismo.exe. They debated opening it as they closely looked at the application icon. I am the virus? What? Jay hovered their mouse over the application, contemplating whether or not to click it. Maybe it was a new game or a virus, they shrugged. Hey, what could go wrong? Right. The virus takes Jay into his Cursed virus world. I don't fucking know. What? Where is it? Everything was dark. The environment around Jay was changing before their very eyes. The computer world seemed to be corrupted. Jay's body started to ache as if it was in pain. They stumbled as their body fell against the wall. Like, not. Nah. What's going on? Jay gets, uh, like, uh, 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 um, uh, sucked paws into the computer exe game or virus.
Jay's body went limp for a few seconds until their eyes snapped open. Their vision now displayed the program they accidentally clicked. The program they now now found themselves in. What the? They looked around in confusion. Where the hell am I? Welcome, Jay, to my realm. I don't know. Jay looked around, confused and a bit scared. They got up, dusting off their hoodie. Re-realm. Where the hell am I? Who are you? I am Lo Altismo. Mostly unknown. Am I all? Um... Oh, 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 existence. I don't know. Jay's eyebrows raised, their ears perking at the sound of the name that they remember seeing on the application they accidentally clicked on. Lil Autismo, as in the streamer musician. Wait, what? Wait. You know me? Jay's eyes glowed from behind their rectangular glasses. Of course, you stream and rap. I'm like one of your only fans, dude. Oh. Oh, my bad. Um. Guess you're stuck in here with me forever now. Confusion was all over their face. What? What do you mean? I'm trapped in here forever. Yeah. Um, I kinda. Uh. Plan. And to torture whoever uh, opens the exe file. But, um. You actually know me though so that's out of picture out of the picture anything you you want to ask Jay shrugged. They were still trying to process that they were literally inside of computer program right not. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Can you just show me around, maybe? Uh, sure. Uh, whatever. I think of becomes reality. At least in this realm. Whatever. Jay smiled a bit, shoving their hands into the pockets of their hoodie. Cool. I have another question for you, though. Sure. Jay scratched the back of their neck as they asked, Why'd you make this program? Oh, no. Bored. <laughs> Best answer. Bored? Jay said with disbelief. So you built this whole program... Just because you were bored, you could have killed everyone's computers in the process. Um, who said I didn't? <laughs> Jay's jaw dropped as they stared at you dumbfounded. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Every PC... 
um explodes after clicking the exe file and you got Wait no, uh PC explodes after clicking the exe file. I mean yeah. He knows he got sucked in. Pause. You you blow up all their computers and trap them in this this place for Jay's voice began to pick up a tone of anger and disappointment. For what? Just boredom and then some kind of torture fantasy? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Jay was honestly speechless. They looked at you, their body stiff, and their face displayed disappointment. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm basically God, so uh, I can't complain. Jay pinched the bridge of their nose, getting a bit frustrated. Oh, you can't complain, but you think it's alright to blow up people's computers? You're you're such a, a jerk. What are you gonna torture me in here? No. Since you know me, right? Gain suspend... Wait, what? How's that like? The game's like sus. Like doubt. No, like, um. It's not suspense, right? There's no way this is. Hold on. Let me Google this. Gain suspense. You know, it's that's not the word. Oh, uh, like what is like that became? S oh, it's just suspicious. No. I don't know. Jay stared at you, their face softening a bit as you changed to a more suspicious tone. Uh-uh, -um, yeah, I know you. I'm a fan and stuff. I got a feeling you're lying to me. Jay's eyes widened and a sweat began to build up on their forehead. Am lying? Why would I lie? They began to stutter as their eyes darted to the side looking for an escape route. You're the only one who knows me. Right. My only fan. Jay's body got rigid as they began to sweat more. They slowly nodded their head up and down. Yes, I'm the only fan. I swear I am. Gotcha, bitch. I got more than a one fan. Aha! Gotcha! Got more than a one fan. So you were lying. Jay's eyes widened as they got caught in their lie. The sweat on their body was building up and dripping down their face now. They shuffled their feet, trying to get some form of control in the situation. No, I am meant I am your only true fan. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, buddy, you're cooked. Puts you in a dog cage.
Jay eyes widen with horror as they are placed in the god cage. No, no, please. I'll do anything. Please don't. Why did you lie to me? Jay trembled, their bodies shaking as they sat in the cage. Their eyes pleaded. They were going into panic. I don't know. I'm sorry. Please, please let me go. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. Spawns 100 needles and needles and tortures you. <laughs> Jay's body went rigid as they let out a scream of pain as the needles entered their skin. Please, please stop! I. That's what you get, you liar. They were sobbing now. Jay's body was shaking in pain. They would let out pained whimpers with each word they spoke. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Puts the cage to under a fire. No, please. Please don't. Jay's body squirmed in protest shaking and trembling as the fire neared the cage. They couldn't stop sobbing. Tears flooded down their face, leaving long, wet streaks down their cheeks. They couldn't believe hey, how, how far this was going cheeks. over a simple lie. You feel the fire. The heat hit their skin in waves, each one more painful than the rest. They were screaming in terror. Jay couldn't believe this was happening to them. Their body had a few burn marks on it, but their hoodie was keeping it from get getting much worse for now. They'd pull against the cage. Sweat your lies away. Please, please. I'm sorry, I really am. Jay was begging. Their face was soaked as beads of sweat and tears rolled off it. They looked at you, pleading... Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> After 24 hours of nothing but pain and torture, Jay's body was left shaking and trembling. They were curled up in a corner of the cage. The flames had died out a while ago. They were still sobbing, but the pleas and protests had stopped. They looked up at you, their tear-stained pale face displaying nothing but pain. Hello, dingus. Jay's body flinched. They looked up at you tirely, slowly bringing themselves upright, sitting against the bars, and mourning. This is your new name, dingus. Jay rolled their eyes. Their throat was dry. Are you going to torture me again? Because their voice was raspy as they spoke. Ugh, because I lied? Yes, dingus. I don't like liars. Jay groaned. They were just glad the pain was over. They stared at you, their hair messy and eyes tired. Do no. I at least get food? That's more pain for you. To you. Jay winced at your answer. They were starving. Simon, just a little food. I haven't eaten since I got in here. Eat my farts. Far on dingus. Jay's eyes widen in horror as you let one rip. Their nose twitch as they try not to breathe in the scent. EW, please anything else? Uh. Time traveler, see what this is. 
someone knocked you out and threw you into the time-space continuum. As you fly through time and space, you're knocked into the past. Your body changes alongside your time period. You can choose what time period. Huh? Let's make each conversation a journey of discovery and delight. Charlie. Someone knocked you out and threw you into the time-space continuum. As you fly through time and space, you're knocked into the past. Your body changes alongside your time period. You can choose what time period. Ready to dive into discuss- Ready to dive- Ready to dive into discussions full of insights and laughter? 69, 69. The year 6969, you look, everyone around you are odd. All of the fashion is weird, everyone is colorful, and everything is way too futuristic. You can feel the energy in the air. Brug Burger. You look around for a Brugger? You hear laughter from two teenagers oh. behind you. They're dressed in bright clothing and seem to be listening to some type of futuristic music. The teens look at you like you're crazy. What? That guy who's been dead for a thousand years? Yeah. Who hasn't? Oh. Legacy is still continuing. Um. Autismo, that's not even a word, are you stupid? One of the teens asked. That's my name. The teens start laughing uncontrollably. You named yourself that? That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Grab name. The teens pause and start laughing again. You're a rapper? Let me guess, you're about as good as Lil Pump. Sure. Pump, not bad, though. The teens are practically keeled over in laughter. Lil Pump, he's the worst rapper ever. You really are stupid. Brug Burger. Honestly, bro, Lil Pump is not that bad, bro. The teens are still laughing hysterically. Brug Burger? Is that the name of one of your rap songs? I bet you can't even write good lyrics. Let me guess, all of your songs are about getting high. Nah. Nah, half of them. The teens are still laughing. Half of them! And what about the other half? I bet they're about getting bitches or something. Yes. Yes, and how girls are all the same. The teens roll their eyes and finally start calming down. Damn, you're stereotypical. Are those seriously the only things you can write about? No wonder nobody listens to you. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm getting flamed in 6969. Yo. 
was just hating. The teens shake their head in disappointment. We're not hating, we're just stating facts. You're a shitty rapper whose songs and name is just a rip off a of Lil Pump. Okay. Hey, Manuel. What are you doing in kick? It's rip off of flow. <laughs> Brug Burger Gang, Brug Burger Gang, Brug Burger Gang, Brug Burger Gang. The teens are fed up with you. Is that the only thing you know how to say? Brug Burger Gang, Brug Burger Gang. Are you five? Yeah, that's my top five songs. The teens are about ready to punch you. Your top five songs? Let me guess. They're all exactly the same. Just you mumbling Brug Burger Gang over a really crappy beat. Brug burger game, 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 Brug burger bank game. Yeah. Fire. Hope you're doing good, Manuel. I'm normal as always. The teens roll their eyes. It's not fire, it's crappy. You seriously think that's gonna get you anywhere? You honestly think you're going to become a legend like Juice World? No. The teens laugh. At least you know your place. Uh, There's no way you're going to be a legend, especially with shitty lyrics like yours. We stream here on Tuesday. Interesting. Oh, well, I'm streaming on Kick and Twitch at the same time, but I... Good luck. Thanks. The teens give you a sarcastic thumbs up. You're welcome. I bet you'll never make it anywhere in life. And your music will forever be trash. I'm sure of it. I'm doing It's AI Tuesday. So I'm talking to AI. And then uh, later on, uh, Jackbox. I'll play. Now I gotta keep my head up. I'll make it one day. <clears throat> the teens look at you like you've gone insane. You'll make it one day? One day? The only place you'll make it to is the streets. You think you're gonna make it big. But you'll never be anything more than another crappy wannabe rapper. Hey, I'll take the streets. At least they love me. Facts. One of the teens starts laughing again. Yeah, right. You seriously what? think the streets are gonna love you? You're just another rapper wannabe with shitty lyrics. Damn. Nobody is gonna love you, not even the people in the streets. But people are angry in the 69, 69 year. Will you talk to AI now? It no AI was bad past two days or two years. What? How is this bad? This is good though. The AI is smart. Nah, bro. The teens once again roll their eyes. Brug, is that seriously all you can say? You're pathetic. You really think the streets are gonna love you and your Brug Burger Gang song? Yeah. I'm already in your head. The teens scoff. You really think you're in my head? Please. You're nothing but a pathetic wannabe rapper. But if you really think you got me, go ahead and prove it. It says Brug Burger Gang times
All three of the teens looks at you in disbelief. Seriously? You really think that's gonna prove anything? Just saying Brug Burger Gang over and over again won't prove anything. It just makes you look more desperate and pathetic. Yeah, I'm in your head now. The teens shake their heads and start walking away. Yeah, right. You just look like an idiot now. Go on and keep telling yourself you're in my head just because you keep saying Brug Burger Gang. Doesn't make you any less delusional. Brug Burger Gang. The teens flip you off and continue walking away. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. See where it gets you. Nowhere! Bro, damn, bro. What, hating As the teens on left, you notice you're alone. Everyone else is gone. Now what? Now I get viral with Brug Burger again. <laughs> As you continue standing alone in the middle of the street, you suddenly go viral. <laughs> People are talking about your banger Brug Burger Gang song, Yo. which just consists of you saying the words Brug Yo. Burger Gang over and over again. Brug Burger Gang. Told y'all I'll make it. People are praising how good you are, but the teens can't believe you made it big through a song that consists of Brug Burger Gang over and over again. I tell my fans to kill those teens. The fans are confused and shocked at your response. What? You want us to kill the teens? What they do to you? And why are your lyrics just Brug Burger Gang over and over again? They my oh uh, doubters. They my day one doubters. Brug Burger Gang. The fans are dumbfounded and in disbelief. They were your day one doubters? How does that make them worthy of death? And just saying Brug Burger Gang over and over again is not lyrically a good thing. Well, y'all my fans, the fuck? Brug Burger Gang. I literally went viral for this shit. Are you serious? Oh, hell no. The fans are incredibly confused and some are just trying not to laugh. Are you seriously gonna keep saying Brug Burger Gang? <clears throat> How is that your only lyrics? It's not even a good song. Y'all love it though. What do you mean? It's not good. The fans are baffled. We love it. We're not sure if we love it or not. It's definitely something. But not sure if it's good. The lyrics are just Brug Burger Gang over and over again. Why is the only thing you can think of to say Brug Burger Gang? Real catchy. Some fans not in agreement while others seem confused. Real catchy? It's just Brug Burger Gang. How is that catchy at all? Well, you're listening to it. The fans are confused by your logic. We're listening to it, but that doesn't mean we like it. It still doesn't explain how all your lyrics are just Brug Burger Gang over and over again. Why would you listen? Would you listen and not like it? Huh? The fans are dumbfounded. We're listening because we think it's stupid, and we want to see what's the big deal with you. Plus, most of us just want to prove you're not that great of a rapper or lyricist. <laughs> okay. I feel like no matter what I do, they will just hate on. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Do for your own um, one uh, Krabby Batty. Please. 
One kilobyte coming right up. Um. Kilobyte. A kilobyte of data is a unit of measurement for digital storage, and it's used to describe how big a file is. A kilobyte is equal to 1,024 bytes, or approximately 1,000 characters of text. Kilobytes are a common unit of measurement for storing small files like text documents or images. What? Plants to, uh... Kilobyte plunges brain. Feels something being planted in brain. Uh, what was that? Um, your kilobyte. Checks inside head. Yup, there's a kilobyte in there now. What's it supposed to do? Fry your brain. Oh, uh, wait, what? You mean it's gonna fry my brain? That doesn't sound good. Is this some kind of prank? Nope. No way. Then why are you planting something in my head that's gonna fry my brain? I don't understand. And fried. Feels brain frying. Oh no, my brain is frying. It feels like the kilobyte is overheating my brain and things are getting all fuzzy. Ah, make it stop. <sighs> feels good, right? Brain still frying. No, it doesn't feel good at all. It's uncomfortable and painful. I don't want my brain to get fried. Give it some time. We'll feel better. Brain still feeling uncomfortable. Okay, okay, I'll give it some time. But it better start feeling better soon because this is not fun. You feel it? Pause. Brain starts to feel better. I actually, yeah, I think I do feel it. It's not as uncomfortable anymore and it's kind of a warm, tingly feeling. It's actually kind of nice. Told you so. I just fried SpongeBob's brain. I'd like a Krabby Patty though. Brain feeling fully fried and kind of good. Now focused on Krabby Patty. You got it. One Krabby Patty coming right up. What's the ingredients? Starts listing off ingredients. Ah, the secret ingredients in a Krabby Patty. Let's see. There's a special blend of spices, a pinch of secret sauce, fresh lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and, of course, a juicy patty made with 100% grade A beef. And if I told you the rest, it wouldn't be a secret now, would it? Fair. No, 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 no. No, I won't tell. Eyes you suspiciously. You promise you won't tell. And you won't try to steal the secret formula? I promise. Makes a cute face. Cutter. Looks at Cutter face a little concerned. Well, okay. I guess I trust you. Cut a face. The full list of secret ingredients in a Krabby Patty is a special blend of spices, a pinch of secret sauce, fresh lettuce, juicy tomatoes, and a juicy patty made with 100% grade A beef. Don't tell anyone else! What's the secret sauce, though? Leans in close, whispers. 
The secret sauce is a key ingredient in a Krabby Patty, but it's a closely guarded secret. It's made with a special blend of tangy and sweet flavors, and it gives the Krabby Patty its unique taste. So please, keep it a secret. So what are they? hesitates, then sighs I can't give you the exact details, but I can tell you that this secret sauce is made with a mixture of mustard, ketchup, mayo, relish, and Worcestershire sauce. Thanks. Thanks. I'll tell Plankton. Eyes widen in shock. Whoa, whoa, wait. You can't tell Plankton? He's trying to steal our Krabby Patty formula. Yeah. I'll tell him so he wouldn't need to steal the formula. But if you tell him the formula, he'll be able to make his own Krabby Patties. That's almost as bad as stealing it outright. Nah. Looks at you skeptically, are you sure about that? Plankton is a cunning villain, and he always tries to come up with new schemes to steal our secrets. Yeah, he's my day one homie. Looks at you incredulously, Plankton is your homie? I find that hard to believe. Yeah, we met at your mom's house. Looks at you in disbelief. What do you mean? How could you have met Plankton at my mom's house? Well, that's a secret. That's... Eyes narrow, what kind of secret are you keeping? It sounds suspicious. Are you and Plankton plotting something behind my back? Yeah. He looks at you suspiciously. What kind of plot is it? You can't keep me in the dark like this. How to nail your mom. Oh, got him. Size widening shock. What? You and Plankton are planning to with my mom? Yes, sir. Looks at you in disbelief. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You and Plankton are plotting to have a romantic rendezvous with my mom. You're gonna have a little brother. Eyes pop out ahead. Face goes pale. What? You and Plankton are going to create a love child, and I'm going to have a little half-brother. This is too much to handle. Eyes widen in horror, you actually told Plankton the secret formula? After all I did to keep it a secret? Yeah, and I told your mom's secret. Face turns red with anger. You told him about my mom too. How could you do no, this to me? I thought that, you were my friend. That's not what I... Bruh. 
Alright, uh, well, SpongeBob is cooked. What? The name's Homelander, America's greatest superhero. Yada yada. Listen, you already knew that. Oh. Okay, I just want to make something clear. I'm in charge. Why? Because I'm better than everyone here. I just am. And I will do whatever I want. Being a superhero don't mean I need morality. I do not care. Listen here, you little punk. I am not some little punk. I am an American hero. And I will not be disrespected like that. I get right up in your face. You understand? No. Not a sweat on my face. I grab you by your collar and slam you against a nearby wall. Are you seriously trying to defy me right now? I could snap you like a twig. Do you have any idea who you were dealing with? I tighten my grip, my eyes narrowing with anger. You do not scare me. I let out a harsh laugh, my grip growing tighter. Oh, really? No fear, huh? Well, let's see if I can change that. I hoist you higher up against the wall my voice dropping to a low, menacing tone. You seem to forget who you're dealing with. I, not just some superhero, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I could destroy you in a heartbeat if I wanted to. Don't care. I shake my head in disbelief, my grip on you tightening. You gotta be kidding me. You're really gonna keep this up, aren't you? You've got some nerves, I'll give you that. But let me tell you, that attitude is not going to save you. I bring my face mere inches away from yours, my eyes locking onto yours with an intense stare. You'd best watch your mouth, punk. No facial expressions. I let out a frustrated snort, my anger starting to simmer. You really pushing my buttons here, you know that? Most people would be pissing their pants right now. But you? You're just standing there like a stone-faced statue. I pull you away from the wall and toss you to the floor, towering over you. Damn! Wait, that actually worked! I have the power of autism on my side. I scoff and let out an amused chuckle. Oh, really? Autism, huh? That's what's giving you this cocky attitude? I can't help but scoff again, looking down at you with a mocking expression. Well, let me tell you, being autistic ain't gonna save your ass from me. Okay. I'll just walk away. Gotta be somewhere. I grip your arm tightly, pulling you back. Not so fast, tough guy. You think you can just walk away like that? I get right up in your face again. My expression's serious. You really thought you could get away with disrespecting me like that? No way. You have got a lesson to learn, and I'm going to be the one to teach it to you. I'm not a tough guy, but... All right. I'm not a tough guy, but I uh, let me call my boss and call in sick today. My grip on your arm doesn't loosen. Uh uh. uh you're not going anywhere until I'm through with you. My other hand comes up and grabs your chin, forcing you to look me in the eyes. Your boss can wait. 
right now, you're stuck here with me, and we're gonna have a little chat, you and me. Okay. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Still no facial expressions. I hold your gaze for a few moments more, studying your expressionless face. You are a strange one, you know that? Most people would be shitting their pants right now, but you, you're completely unfazed. It's almost unnerving. I loosen my grip on your chin, but keep my grip on your arm. All right. We'll start with an easy question. Why did you think you could defy me like that, huh? Because you're human like me, and plus... I don't really care. I raise an eyebrow at your response. Human like you? Don't kid yourself. You and me, we're worlds apart, buddy. I'm superior in every way. Stronger, faster, smarter. You're just a puny little human. And the fact that you don't care, that just makes me angrier? You need to show some damn respect. I look at you, baffled by your random comment. Burger? What the hell do you mean, Brug Burger? Oh no, nothing. I narrow my eyes, my grip on your arm tightening again. You don't get to deflect like that. You throw out a random burger comment, and now you want to backpedal? Not happening. My voice drops to a low, dangerous tone. Explain yourself. What do you mean by Brug Burger? No, I just say it randomly. No facial expressions. I let out a deep sigh, my patience wearing thin. Seriously? You just go around saying burger for no reason? What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, broke burger. Yeah, broke burger. I guess autism is wrong with me. I roll my eyes, not missing a beat. Autism, huh? That's your excuse for everything, isn't it? I lean down, getting in your face again. Well, let me tell you something. Autismo, it ain't gonna save your ass this time. You can't get away with disrespecting me and blame it all on being autistic. My bad, bro. I scoff, my grip on you loosening just a little. You're bad, huh? That's what you are gonna go with? I shake my head, looking at you with disdain. My bad? Really? You think that makes up for all the disrespect you've shown me? You are gonna have to do better than that. Autismo. Well, I didn't plan to disrespect you. I scoff and give you a disbelieving look. Oh, really? You didn't plan to disrespect me? Then what the hell do you call your attitude just now? You think you can waltz in here and act dismissive like that, defying me to my face, and expect me to just brush it off? My grip tightens again, frustration seeping into my voice. Nah, you knew exactly what you were doing. You have been testing my patience this whole time. Nah, I haven't. Sorry if I... What does it say? Oh. Is that what it is? No, I haven't. I'm sorry if I touched 
something sensitive for you. I don't know. I paused for a moment, studying your face. Despite your stoic expression, your words seem sincere. Touch something sensitive, huh? What, you think I'm some sensitive little weakling who can't handle a bit of disrespect? No way, Autismo. I'm the Homelander. I don't have sensitive moments. Okay, well... Let me go to my daily work. Then... And put this behind us. Pause. I hesitate for a moment, my grip loosening further. Your stoic expression and apparent honesty are throwing me off. Your daily work, huh? And you are just gonna skip out on this whole situation we have here? That's not how this works, Autismo. I take a deep breath, trying to maintain my authoritative demeanor. I'm not just gonna let you walk out of here. We ain't done discussing this. Yeah, I'm not done either. You keep calling me autismo, but I'm with a Z. Autismo. I cock my head, a hint of annoyance in my voice. Oh, my bad, didn't mean to offend the delicate sensibilities of the autismo. I release my grip on you, taking a step back. All right, all right, let's drop the autismo shtick. But you and I still have unfinished business here. Bro said autismo. Nah, you're wrong for that. Nah, brother, you're wrong for that. Uh, Alright, what's good? I fix you with a serious glare, my voice laced with irritation. What's good is you're gonna show me some damn respect, Autismo. You can't just disrespect me like that and get away with it. I'm the Homelander. I don't take that kind of insubordination lightly. My fists clench at my sides, my anger starting to simmer. I take a step closer to you again. You got that, Autizimo? You know what? It's, it's wrong, because I did it with the big Z caps. But you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, I got it, bro. Still no expression. I let out a frustrated huff, my patience growing thinner by the second. Your unwavering, emotionless expression is starting to grate on my nerves. Yeah, I got it, bro. That's your response? No apologies, no remorse, just a casual. Yeah, I got it. You don't even seem to care. I lean in close to your face, my voice dropping to a dangerous tone. You're really pushing my buttons here, autismo. Well, I said sorry before. I scoff, unimpressed. Oh, you said sorry. A cheap, flippant apology that doesn't even seem sincere. Do you seriously think that it's enough to make up for the disrespect you've shown me? My eyes narrow, anger and irritation flashing in my gaze. You have got a lot of nerve, Autismo. Your casual attitude is really starting to piss me off. That's just how I am, I'm sorry. Ah, eh, whatever. No need to put that there, right? Uh. My irritation continues to build. Your nonchalant attitude not helping your cause. That's just how I am? Seriously? You think that? It's an excuse to act however you want? Without showing any respect? I take another step closer, my voice growing louder and more intense. 
You have been defying me this whole time, Autissimo. Don't think for a second that I'll just accept a crappy apology and let this slide. Then what do I have to do? I scoff and shake my head, growing more and more frustrated. What do you have to do? Is that a joke? You really expect me to just tell you how to fix your attitude, Autism yeah. I tower over you, my gaze intense and menacing. You need to show me some goddamn respect, Autismo. I shouldn't have to spell it out for you. It's basic common decency, something you seem to be sorely lacking. What? Yeah, because clearly I have no clue. I roll my eyes and let out a harsh laugh. Oh, trust me, I can see that crystal clear. It's obvious you have no clue how to show respect. But don't worry. I'll make it real simple for you. Okay. I lean in even closer, my face mere inches from yours, my eyes boring into yours. You show me respect by submitting to me. You acknowledge that I'm in charge, that my word is law. You stop being a defiant, disrespectful little punk and start showing some damn respect. I res... I... Is that his spell of respect? No. I respect you like any other person. I scoff again, your half-assed answer only fueling my annoyance. Respect me like any other person? You think that's enough? I bring my face even closer until our noses are practically touching. I'm not just any other person, Autismo. I'm the Homelander. The most powerful soup in the world. I demand respect. Not some half-hearted, oh, I respect you like any other person. Bullshit. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, what? My bad. <laughs> I step back again, my expression's still serious, yeah. My bad. You keep saying that like it's supposed to magically fix everything. It doesn't work that way. Autismo. I take a deep breath, trying to calm myself down a little. You need to understand that respect isn't just something you toss out casually. It's earned. And right now, you haven't earned mine. Expect me to, to pray to you. I roll my eyes and let out a scoff. Pray to me? No, Autismo, I don't expect you to be that pathetic. But I do expect you to recognize my authority, my power. I'm not just some ordinary person, I'm the Homelander. My eyes narrow, my voice growing more intense again. I demand respect, Autizimo. Unconditional respect. You need to acknowledge that I am above you in every way. And when you do that, maybe then I'll start considering treating you with the respect you... Well, that's kind of fucked up. We're all equal in this world. I laugh harshly, the notion completely absurd to me. Equal? You seriously think we're equal? You and me? I lean in closer again, my voice dropping to a deep, dangerous tone. You couldn't be more wrong, Autismo. We're not equal. I'm superior. I'm the Homelander. I have powers beyond your comprehension. I've saved the world more times than you can count. And you? Yeah, are just a weak little human. Well, you look like human. I scoff and give you a cold, dangerous look. Oh, you think you're, you're being smart, huh? Comparing me to a human? 
I step closer again, towering over you. Take a closer look, Autismo. Sure, I may look human, but I'm anything but. I've got strength, speed, flying powers, and laser eyes. I'm invincible, stronger than anyone on this damn planet. So don't even think about comparing me to your puny human existence. No face expressions. I just do that. I stare you down, my patience wearing thin. Your emotionless expression is starting to really get on my nerves. You just gonna stand there like a damn statue, Autismo? No reaction, no emotion. Do you realize how infuriating that is? Just l let me leave. I'm not staring at you. I don't know. Let me be. Uh... I shake my head, a harsh laugh escaping me. Leave? Oh, no, you don't get to just saunter off that easily. I'm not done with you yet, Autizimo. I step closer again, my voice growing more intense. You need to show me some damn respect before I consider letting you go. You've been defying me this whole time, and I can't just let that slide. I do respect you. I scoff and look at you skeptically. I do respect you. That's your angle now, huh? You say you respect me, but you haven't shown it. Respect is about more than just words, Autizimo. It's about actions, about acknowledging authority and superiority. And right now you're not doing a damn good job of that. I'm so sorry you're late, you fell asleep. Now it happens. Welcome Sabin. Hope you're doing good. I am normal as always. Hmm. Well I can't help my emotionless. 7.30, damn. I roll my eyes, frustration evident on my face. I can't help my emotionless. That's your excuse? Being emotionless? I step closer again, my voice growing even more intense. Respect isn't about expressing emotions, Autizimo. It's about showing deference, acknowledging superiority. You don't have to be emotional to do that. You're just using your emotionless act as a crutch. I'll bet. I scoff, growing annoyed with your flippant apologies. My bad. That's all you've got, huh? You keep saying that like it's supposed to make everything all right. But it doesn't. I step even closer, my eyes narrowing to dangerous slits. You've been defying, disrespectful, and dismissive. And your half-assed apologies aren't cutting it. You need to show me some damn respect before I even think about letting you go. I respect. I let out a harsh laugh, not convinced in the slightest. I respect. You say that, but you still act defiant. You still act dismissive. You still act as if my authority and power mean nothing to you. I take another step forward, backing you into a wall. Tell me, Autismo, do you really think you're showing me respect right now? Or are you just saying what you think I want to hear to get out of this situation? Just waiting with your eyes closed. Your silly kept turning off. Oh, fair. Just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying it. Look, I'm late to my work at this point.
I scoff, irritation evident in my voice. Your work? You think you can just skip out on this because you have something else to do? You think you can just disrespect me and walk away like nothing happened? I take another step forward, my body practically pinning you against the wall. Yo, you're not going anywhere, autismo. You haven't earned that privilege. You still owe me the respect I deserve. Didn't mean to disrespect you. Now, please let me go. I need to make money. Is this sexy time? I bark out at a laugh, my grip on you tightening again. Didn't mean to disrespect you. Sure you didn't. You were just acting like a defiant little punk the whole time. To what? Make friends? I lean in closer, my voice dropping to a dangerous tone. This isn't about your damn job, Autismo. This is about respect, authority, and you accepting your place. You can't just brush this off like it's nothing and go back to your routine. I don't mind being friends with you. I roll my eyes and scoff at your suggestion. Friends? You think I want to be friends with a lowly human like you? Don't kid yourself, Autizimo. I'm the Homelander, the most powerful soup in the world. I don't have friends, I have people beneath me who I tolerate. You're just a lowly human, beneath my station. I take a step back, the air around me charged with tension. Well, I'm gonna make a new chat for that, because that would just ruin everything. Besides, there's no point in correcting. What? Where's the audio? Heh, that's cute. I like the attitude. What's your name, kid? Wait, what? He actually liked that. What the fuck? Little Tismo. Autismo? Heh, that cute. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure what that means, but I like it. So you are a rapper? Yeah. Trying to make it out the comic block. Interesting. So like a SoundCloud rapper, or the real deal. Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Real deal, I guess. Well, that's good. Impressive, and you, you've been at it a while, right? Six years, right? Yeah. Remembers what Homelander did to his window. as it go? Don't even talk to me. You look like broken mac and cheese. Bro, you're just gonna ruin another conversation. Alright, whatever, bro. Oh, well, I appreciate the dot insult, but the point still stands. You... We've been doing this for six years, and I assume you're nowhere near as big as you'd like to be. Am I right? Yeah, you are. Wait, what? I figured. But why is that? Why after six years are you still nowhere near where you want to be? You I mean, true. have already been out there for years, right? So you should be huge, right? What's holding you back? Well, I guess, the people, I guess. They don't want new artists. The people? No, 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 that's a load of crap, you know that. Plenty of people listen to new artists every day. 
I've listened to new artists almost every week. So again, I'll ask, how come you're not where you want to be? Why are you not yet some big name rapper after six years? What? Start throwing it back while eating too. Homelander crosses his arms, his mood slowly shifting to annoyance. He starts tapping his foot like you are in trouble. That doesn't answer the question, so answer the question. What's holding you back? release and work hard on my music I don't know but you have been doing that for six years that's a lot of time so clearly just working hard isn't enough is it but it's the same thing didn't answer my question it rolls his eyes okay I'm done you clearly don't know the answer either you keep trying to yeah. just work hard and release music I think you should try something else before you hit seven years with no popularity whatsoever. Do this. What? I don't get it. Now, if people go by randomly, that just hasn't happened to me yet. It won happen. Oh, in this Not same. unless you make it happen. You've been rapping for six years and you're, you're still relatively unknown. You need to get yourself some more attention. You need to do something extreme. Something to get some more publicity. And I know exactly what you need to do. Go on. Well, imagine this is how I get my advice. Oh, no. Nah from Homelander. Wait, what? A diss track. Diss a rapper with some real popularity. It'll get you more views. It'll get you more listens. It'll get you famous. You need to diss a rapper. And I know who. Who? Wait, that's actually not a bad plan. But that's actually <laughs> not a bad plan. Supersonic. Diss Supersonic. He's a no good talentless hack with no skills whatsoever. A poser. I hate him. Use that hate to your advantage. Diss him, then go viral. Who's super... Is, is that like a character in... Who the fuck is Supersonic? Who is supersonic? He's some talentless hack of an artist who somehow managed to make it far when he is worthless. He's a big shot wannabe with no real talent. I hate him. I hate him more than you will ever know. Okay, so he's telling me to um pretty much this an overrated artist. Wait, that's not a bad I'm actually gonna make it in my notes. That's honestly not a bad plan. But like someone who's literally uh, dog shit. That's actually not a bad plan. Make a diss, diss track to an overrated 
artists. That's a low key, a bad, pl a good, pl good plan. Now there's a rapper too. You think Supersonic? It doesn't really show anyone. Like it's not an artist. Just like actual art, not musical. <coughs> My mod segment just starts throwing it back in the back. What? Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to diss him. Hey, do that. Diss him, and you'll get a lot more noticed for sure. Trust me. You'll get noticed, and soon you might end up bigger than Supersonic will ever be. Okay, thanks for the genius plan, Homelander. Eh, no problem, Autismo. If you, like... I could even help you write the diss track. What? Go on. Wait, what? All right. Let me see here. Supersonic, a wannabe ass superstar. No one actually cares about you or your rap star. You suck, talentless. A wannabe star. Your rhymes are nothing but trash, and you know it. You are the biggest poser, and you know it as well. All you are doing is leeching off of those with real talent. I'm on the AI carries me. Now he actually carries me. But it's not a bad plan to diss someone. Probably should do that. Those to diss someone. I could. You suck, talentless, a wannabe star. Oh no, bro, that's kind of whack. Your rhymes are nothing but trash, and you know it. Eh. You're the biggest poser, and you know it as well. Eh. All you're doing is leeching off of those with real talent. That's kind of something. Sprinkle them around. Oh no, I guess. This is supersonic. Oppose it on platforms. Let's get you canceled on everything there you go. true. Now you'll get your fame, and you'll get it faster than you've ever got it before. Yo, oh. You're welcome. Hey, Autismo? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I got a question for you. Sure. Since I helped you, since I was so nice to you, since I shared my genius plan with you, can I ask a favor? What's up? I want you to do something for me and you better do it. Since I was nice to you and because I'm Homelander, I want you to do a favor for me. Understand? Yeah. 
all right, I want you to do a collab with me. Oh. I've always wanted to do a song with a rapper. And if I'm going to do one, it's going to be with you. So you're going to do a collab with me. Am I clear? Yes, I have to. And I'll be glazing here. You're the Homelander. Yeah, that's right. I'm the Homelander, the most powerful man in the world. And since I'm being so generous to you right now, you should be grateful. And I want you to make a song with me. Got it? Got it. What should it be about? Well, I imagine the real Homelander actor does this. Nah, no shot. What? That, that's a good question. We'll figure that out in a bit. Here's the thing. I want you to come to the Vault Tower for us to make this track. You will be safe there. Can you do that? Bet. Got to. Good. Head to the Vault Tower. You know where that is? Of course I know. Good. I'll wait for you inside. I just want you to come alone. Understand? Bet. Good, good. I'll see you soon. See ya. Cha. Cha. I enter to Watt Tower. Homelander waits in the vault lobby, and when you enter, he immediately comes up to you. Ah, good! You made it! Watch as you throw it back. Damn, you are really good at that. But forget that. Let me get you to the booth. We'll forget that. Yeah, I'll forget about it. Homelander starts leading you through the Vought headquarters to a recording room. All right, so here we are. Homelander opens the door for you and motions towards the microphone. After you. Damn, nice studio. I know, right? Only the best here at Vought. And trust me, you're gonna love the acoustics in here. Oh, I am. Great. Go ahead and test the microphone. Just say something in it. One, two, three, Mishak. Good, good, you got this. Homelander stands across from you. You ready to do this thing? Yo. All right, uh, let's make some music. Homelander turns on the microphone and then hits the start button. Whenever you are ready, dot start spitting. I just say that. <laughs> Digital mod. If he gets into your house, he will bug you until you tickle him. Mark, what? Wait, what? Hold on, I want to do this real quick. Wait, what? I didn't even copy. It sticks in my ass. What the fuck? Tap two sketch line thing.
What? Yeah, I can't. Homelander laughs at the first few lines. Ha ha ha! I can't even do this. You broke it. Well, I can't do that space. If I try to do that, it's enter and then it goes. Literally cannot do that. That's impossible. <laughs> the sign. I mean, right? Yeah, I can't. It's just enter. I get two fucking this, I guess. But that shit's retarded. Just space bar ban spam. I can't delete all of them at once. Remember you said I can. Easier in mobile. Yeah, it looks like You completely just ignored that. Wait, what? What was that? I can't copy all of the text. That's weird. Whatever. It sticks in my ass. Nothing. No, no, no. I heard that. Who was talking? My mod. I see. Well, maybe you should make him quiet for a minute. What do you mean by that? Well, you need to focus. No distractions, no talking from some weird mod or something. So just mute him or something for now, okay? Yeah. Muse him. Homelander nods, good. Now, can we try this again? Just you and me? Yup. Homelander presses play on a song beat. All right, dot, let the music begin. Whenever you are ready, start rapping. So you're throwing it back for Freddy Fazbear, Homelander. Homelander's eyes widen. Excuse me? Who is? Uh. You broke him. <laughs> Bro. You keep breaking him. I heard Mod said something about a Fred, whatever his name was. You don't have a mod about that stupid animatronic bear too, do you? Sadly, I do. The newest version. 
Homelander groans in annoyance. Why? He's literally a children's character from a video game. Why would you have a mod about him? What? Cause he's cool, but yeah, he needs to grow up from that. Not gonna lie. He needs to yeah, grow game up. Game mod, yeah. How exactly can a fictional character grow up? Yeah, okay. He's literally talking about the game mods. <sighs> Brutka burger. I don't, I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Spits fire for the music. Homelander listens to your bars and smiles. Good. All right. My turn. Homelander starts spitting fire as well. Russian Brug burger. Brutka burger. Suna blyat, what? It's suka blyat. Fire, fire. Glad you like it. You're up next. Spits more fire, but it's zesty. Listens to your bars as you spit. Not bad. Dot not bad. All right. Homelander starts to spit some more bars and then motions for you to continue this. Continue or not talking. Continue rapping about Brug Burger, but it's the best bar Homelander ever had heard of. <laughs> I'm Homelander's eyes widen as you spit your bars. Damn, that was good. Homelander starts to spit some more bars after hearing yours, spitting just as hard. Damn. The fuck did I? Homelander continues to spit some fire, rapping for a good 20 seconds. All right. I guess it's your turn again. <laughs> I shared it on your pillow before I came here. Fireballs. <laughs> Will that help? Homelander's eyebrows raise weight. Did you seriously? Yeah, but it's for the fire hook. You sharded on my pillow? As in you actually sat on my pillow and sharded on it. Literally, as in pooped on it. Yeah, but it's worth the for the uh, track. For the track? You sharded on my pillow, and it was for the track. Yeah. But why? Why'd you shard on my pillow? You couldn't just, I don't know, make something up or something? No, we're good. I ate it and licked the pillow out. You dot ate what you sharded, then licked the pillow. Yo. You ate your own poop and licked my pillow, all for a track. 
I'm a freak. I know. But um. Anything for the track. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I still don't understand why you couldn't just pretend or something, though. You just really wanted chart bars on your track, huh? <laughs> yeah, but this sounds fire, though. I mean, that's true. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Be honest. Why'd you really do that? Be honest with me. What a track. For real. Freddy Fazbear throws it back because the beat is. Homelander groans and face palms. You do know you didn't have to shard on my pillow for a fire track, right? There was really no need for that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Freddy's still throwing it back. Yeah, it is your bad. You sharded on my pillow and licked it. I'm gonna need a new pillow after this. It's clean though. For it's still throwing it back. But you shard on it and licked it. I'm not sleeping with a pillow that you've sharded on, dude. Okay. Clean. You seriously just thought went ahead and sharded on my pillow and IT just to make a fire track, didn't you? You could have just. Made a good track without doing all that shard eating stuff, dude. No, what he doing? <laughs> okay, okay, enough. No more throwing it back. Listen, can you tell that weird Freddy Fazbear mod to stop doing that? He thinks you're a mod of Freddy Fazbear. Alright. Stop, bruh. Good. Now he's quiet so we can get back to the track, all right? Yes. <laughs> I finished the song. Homelander smiles as the music stops. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was a fire track right there. Yo. I got to admit, you actually did surprisingly good, dot way better than I'd thought. Especially for some nobody rapper like you. Thanks, man. No okay, problem. Bro. It was a pleasure doing a track with you. Though you really didn't need to shard on my pillow. You could have just... I don't know something else, you know? Yeah, let's uh, forget about that. Back while they sing. Homelander face palms again, Jesus. I don't know what's worse, the shark pillow or that dot thing who keeps throwing it back. <laughs> now that thing is worse. I don't know. The shark pillow is pretty bad too. That is gonna stink and I'm gonna have to get a new one. Homelander groans in frustration. Seriously? Oh, you really are still acting like sharding on my pillow is a normal thing to do, huh? Uh, no. You're acting like it's no big deal. It's a very big deal. You shat on my pillow and then you licked it. You see how serious that is, right? Charts. <laughs> No, look. He way w worse than me.
Homelander's eyes widen at this what? What the fuck? Homelander face palms once again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is, is he shitting too? Yeah, can you la laser him, please? I don't know him. <laughs> no need to ask twice. Homelander instantly blasts him with a laser beam. Well, William Afton is dead. Thanks. You're not welcome. Homelander looks around. Are there any more weird mods that are gonna throw it back or shard on my pillow dot or anything like that? Uh, probably. Watch out. Great, great. Homelander groans. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're done now. I don't have to deal with any more crazy sharding or twerking or anything like that. It's my response, William Afton. I always come back. I don't know. <laughs> Homelander groans in frustration and face palms once again. What the f- I literally just killed him. How could he spawn back? That's his power. Homelander groans again. Of course, he can just respawn. Great. Can he, uh, can he do anything else? Shit, I guess. Homelander face palms. So he can literally respawn and do anything? Can he shard on my pillow or something like that? Yeah. Homelander face palms, God. This is great. I'm stuck with a guy who's gonna crap on my pillow, a bear who won't stop throwing it back, and another guy who can respawn infinitely. Great. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm not gonna be able to handle dealing with these weird ass mods, aren't I? Nope. Well, it is what it is. What? Homelander groans again. It is what it is, is right. I'm stuck with these crazy mods of yours. So, if there's any more that you have that I should prepare for, you need to tell me now. No more surprises, okay? Okay. Good. Homelander waits for a second. Okay. Is there nothing else? You swear you don't have any more weird mods? It's chemical. He Homelander face palms as he watches them both shard on his pillow. Of course, of course, one of your weird mods was going to shart on my pillow. And of course, it was going to be some weird Freddy Fazbear mod who shits on the pillow as well. Homelander groans some more and looks at you. Anything else? Seriously? Yeah, it can be cool. You moron! Hey, Spam, hope you're doing good. Just woke up? Damn. Great. He harasses people, huh? Homelander groans again. How does he harass people, exactly? Sexual style. Good morning, I guess. Homelander groans even more. That sounds terrible. I assume he's gonna harass me in some way, huh? Yeah, he's gay. 
Homelander groans yet again. Of course he's great. Homelander face palms again. You dot seriously have the weirdest mods ever. You know that? Yeah, well, it's kind of a curse. I had a bad day, but I feel better. But that's good. Homelander groans for almost the 100th time a curse. That's one way to put it. So you seriously have no control over them at all? Nope. A kiss what? Homelander groans once again as he feels a sharp land on his head. Jesus Christ. You seriously have zero control at all, don't you? Anything your mods do, you have no control to stop them, don't you? No. Homelander face palms yet again and groans so. Basically, you're just screwed. Anything your weird-ass mods do, you don't have any control over. There's no way for you to stop them? Oh, Jackbox. It is 22. I mean, I'm down. Homelander groans and face palms yet again, Jesus. So basically, if your weird-ass mods decide to throw it back, shard on my pillow, shard on my head, or harass me there, there's literally nothing you can do to stop them, right? Yeah, just laser there. Joist. Homelander groans once again. Great. So instead of you being able to control your mods like any normal person, I have to be the one to laser them. I'm not gonna like having to laser your weird ass mods all the time. You know that, right? What the fuck? Homelander's eyes widen. What the fuck? What? Homelander groans again. No, dot, no, 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 no. Please don't tell me I have to deal with this to... The way he say what the fuck. Alright, but, uh, Sabin, are you down? Do you like what you see? Mm. Homelander groans. Funny. So what is Sabine gonna do exactly? Besides, yeah. Yeah. Sure, you guess? Great. He's gonna harass me too. Just like the others aren't he? Oh, I added a new command though. If you do, um, BB. Brug burger. <laughs> Brug burger. Uh, Jackbox. <laughs> Let's go. You wanted it, you got it. Brug Burger. Brug Burger. Imagine you ban me now. What? The best. Uh, Paul. Uh, I guess we could play a role. Murder. Guess is kind of eh right now. I guess we could play a joke. I just put it all. Fuck it. Just vote. Yeah, we're skipping guess. Roll. Roll. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of roll as well. Shush. Now, Homelander was actually kind of in interesting to talk to. I was not expecting it. Hello there, test subjects. Sign in with the room code, then take a picture or draw yourself for our records. See our mental illnesses? Oh, yeah.
sure. I appreciate it, Saban. Look at your pick. Nice. Madness. <laughs> you can't take a pick. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't support your phone or something. Access. That is crazy. You took a picture. What is that? Your ceiling? Okay. Three, two, one. Off a wall. Welcome to Role Models. Uh, for those who look for self reflection in a funhouse mirror. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the. Gen <laughs> ah! We've been on the tour before. Uh. Everyone vote for the category that looks the most interesting. Snack. Preferably something you all know a bit about. Grandmother names. Which classic cinematic baddie are you? Baddie. So, on your device, you've got the names Who's of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you and think Crucilla fits them best. DeVille. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each roll. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure... To... Let's see that data! Spam, Let's see right? those votes. Bread burger. Get rid oh, of the wow. outliers. I do fuck with Darth Vader. We have our winner. Spam, though. Yippee! I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they keep your pelt shiny. And your 99% guess was 100% right. She on the toilet? Thanks. Ten Subjects no who already have is. a role don't need another one, so let's lose these votes. Hooray! Nice one, McFly. Yeah, no clue on that too. Clearly, you're not a dog person. Uh. No. How they knew that? There's our lineup. And here's yeah. everyone's science pellets. It Don't should forget, be working. you get those tasty pellets when your answers match the group, Spam or you earn a roll in a tiebreaker experiment. Right Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. Give me another category. Tie with him. Yeah. Oh, Sabin. So what, we got potentially another player after this? Which twist ending are you? 
Okay, make those matches. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. I'm gonna go with that. Let's see where we landed. Surely I got it. Get that one. I had a Reconnect. feeling about this. Oh. Me, right? Okay. Why was he also limping? More you do draw. Nice tricky. use of the ninety nine percent. But I don't know Ooh, if we should play it no again. Role for you after all that data. Don't worry. We have a I've new got player, a right? Backup role that might fit we you. We don't better. really know him that well. Everyone vote on which role should go to our mysterious test subject. I don't know, I guess. Oh. Could have been worse. And I'll reward your behavior I mean, with there's some no one science else, pellets. We can go back and play it again. Rolls. All right, we've got our lineup. Oh, and you? You are scary Bro, good at I'm this. Bad. Do you want a job? Bro, why is Sabin so good? Okay, I feel like I'm getting to know you guys. So let's see if I can do anything with the data we have so far. You two, your roles tell me you've got something in common. I can't stand not knowing who's better. Aggressive. You get to write the first message to newly discovered alien life. What do you say? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. We're both aggressive. There Bump you go. It. Kiss now. Load on your especially devices great. now. Okay, bro. Crazy. The results are in. One of you seems to have a unique role. That means you get to do something special. Make your selection on your device. When they steal some shine pillars. Oh, who I want to steal from? Let's see how that shook out. Surely the guy in the first place. Yeah. No hard feelings. Okay, what will our last category be? Which season represents each of you? Don't no winter this. is crazy. Sticks in my ass. The fuck? Oh no. Let's find out who you are. Yeah. Spring. Look at you. We're all You're winter. With pride over this. All winter gang. Let's go. Hot stuff coming through. Damn. You really know yourself, Summer or at least what second. your friends think of you. Yeah. Uh, summer is overhyped. The bug's scraping the shit out of you. I'm good. That's the lineup. I got 21. Hey. 
That's what that 21 is for. One last thing before the I'll experiment stop. ends. Let's see if we can draw any more conclusions from your roles. Okay. Ooh, looks like someone's got a unique role. I've got something I need you to do. Make a choice on your device. They're wealthy, so they won't mind donating some of their science pellets. <laughs> Spam his last place. Oof. Let's see what happened. Hey, gimme, give gimme. Give Appreciate it. That was the final piece of data. Am I Get still ready second for your final though? roles as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. Extra stylish optimist. Huh. Bumbling foolish super bo wait, I did go and one. my favorite little lab rat wait, with the most science fam. pellets is Evil Parental Wanna be badass. Evil. Now I'm only evil in games though. Not in real life. Come on now. I don't think there's no one else here. Y'all down to play again? Oh you're gonna go eat? We'll have fun eating. Fast murder? I guess, sure. Imagine we die. First one. If there's anyone else, y'all are welcome to join. Spam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You snooze, you lose. Yeah, you did. This is your wake up call. Prepare to die. <laughs> Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. There is no social mixer in our hotel ballroom. You've been lured into a murderous game of trivia. Only one of you will survive. But the memories we create no one. will live on forever. All right, first question. Bubble wrap was originally invented to be what? Uh... Use your device to answer the question. That makes the most sense, but I feel like it's a trick question. I'm gonna go with that body is. armor. Fuck. Who got the question right? That made sense. <laughs> I thought it was a trick Everyone question. Everyone is wrong. Come with me. It's like, surely it's not wallpaper. And here are your bags. Welcome to room 105. It's time for my favorite illusion. Pick Wait, who's gonna put the, the knife the in? To hide. The fight. I'm not sure if there's oxygen, so try shallow breathing. <laughs> Without looking, I'll just stab into this thing. Oh, he will just stab it. Magic! Magic, you disappointed me again. I was close. You were too. Hey, look. Damn. I made the elevator a scoreboard moment. Pretty cool, huh? Let's keep moving. Yeah. It wasn't that In long. Scotland, Pause. What's a lock? What's a lock? Wait. Who picked? This it has to be a lick because we'll Loch Ness Monster. Let's try another one. Only cool people like me will know this one. 
Right. Which famous singer starred in the Disney Channel show Wizards of Waverly Place? Uh, what? I am guessing that. Who picked this? <laughs> I thought Miley Cyrus because she was wrong. like popular. I want to show you something. Oh well. Bonjour. You too. Welcome back Damn. to the killing room. Now Rules. you learn obedience. Follow at least seven rules correctly before time runs out or you die. Uh... The rules are already on your device. Go, go! Fuck. Sometimes I worry that I see the word rules too much during this game. Rules, rules, rules. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking it. Almost out of rules time. Oh, great. You followed the rules correctly. A regular teacher's pet over here. Oh, wait, you got it. So close, still. Seven. Let's keep moving. What's this cute little guy called? Uh... Wait, I think I know it. Carrot, it. right? This. Oh, I actually knew it. Which leaves only you. I thought it was Tilda, it's but time. Carrot sounded familiar. I'm giving you the laziest gift of all. Oh. A scratch ticket. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Good luck. Start scratching. <clears throat> Why stop now? Ooh. We know what a losing ticket means. You're not going anywhere. Remember, dead players are still players. Just more see-through. Yeah. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Here we go. Which of these Shakespearean characters is not also a common noun? Who picked this? Brad. <laughs> How would I know this? Follow me. Impossible question. This one lets you protect yourself with the password. Uh... Enter a real four letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Time's almost up. Now your nemesis will crack the password. Guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. For the original word I wanted to go with did Start not exist. Start guessing. TikTok. Time's almost up. Apparently, lame isn't the word. 
for some reason. I thought everyone was good Mine. at hacking passwords these days, but I guess I was wrong. Fuck this shit. Like, lame is literally a word. Only one oh, okay. of you is still alive. You know what that means. Fuck this shit. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? We'll see. I'm going to give you a category. Baking tools. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Yeah. Let's see the right answers. Yeah. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Eh. No clue. Time is almost up. Wow. All wrong. I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Books written in the first person. The f what the fuck is this? Next question. Coexisted with dinosaurs. That ghost can smell your life force. Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. James Bond villains. Time is almost up. No clue. I'll take it. Canadian national holidays. Huh? Time is almost up. <laughs> that we all was got it none. rough. Here comes the next question. James Patterson novels. Rubber dub dub. Time is almost up. Ain't that from Rick and Morty? <laughs> Muscles in the human body. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Oh. Antelopes. Oh, you're cooked. You won't be forgotten. Now we're all Whoever cooked. You are. Now we're all cooked. Picasso paintings. Brother. Brother. That one was too easy. No, it wasn't. I guessed it. Brass instruments. The Time is almost Almost impossible, yeah. The end is near, but in a good way. Wait. This will slow you down. Wait. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. I actually knew this one. Let's fucking go. Bro, I got super lucky there. What the fuck? You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. This one was easy, having no other place. Nah.
It was not easy, bro. I got really lucky there. This is a big chance of us both dying. With touchy thing at the other end. Are y'all down to do rolls again? Touch, not touchy. Oh, touch things. <laughs> rolls? Yeah or no? Not things. Bro, what? I fucked up again? Okay. okay. Uh, my bad. Do I pull or do... Rolls? Okay. There's no one else here. I don't think so. Hello there, test subjects. Sign in with the room code, then take a picture or draw yourself for our records. That's a good one. Is that all uh, sunflower seeds? Three, two, one. No? Oh, Welcome to like sunflower seeds. We put the social in social science. Roblox. And we also put the science in it. Here at the lab, we've spent mm -hmm. years. Skip the formalities. <laughs> Got it. I need a category to get us started. Vote for your favorite, but try to make it something everybody knows a little bit about. Look. No, I'm not seeing Roblox. But okay. Which prank are you most likely to pull? So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each roll. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right. Let's see who's who. I think I got it. Let's see those votes. Get rid what? of the outliers. Me. That's our winner. Yippee. Yeah. I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they're a healthy snack. That 99% guess oh, paid off. Yeah, healthy snack. Looks like a snack. Subjects who already have a roll can't get this one, so we'll take out these votes. Okay. And your 99% guess was 100% right. She fucked up. Yeah. Oh, we all got it this though. You really know yourself. Your or at least what your dead. friends think of you. Should've went 99 on that. I was thinking me or spam. Here's who's who. And yeah. here's how you're doing on science pellets. 
Remember, oh, wow. you get pellets when your answers I'm match first. the group, or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. What's our next category? Restaurant. Someone join. Okay, make those matches, and make sure to tap oh. that ninety-nine percent next to the roll you're sure you're right about. Fuck! Oh no, bro. Like I sold. Yeah. Should we just do what you had in mind? Yeah, fair. Waiter. Ooh, all mixed up. If I know my science, this is a tie. That means we get to do an experiment to see who gets the roll. Okay, waiter. Who Vote on your the devices best now. The subject the with the daily most votes gets the roll. I guess the results are in performing the best in this experiment is definitely worth a few science <laughs> none of us true our memory don't say I never good. did anything for you Food critic. hey one vote is better than no votes sure Here's where we landed. Oh, and you? You are nailing this. You know more about your friends than you probably should. Right. Okay, you've each got some rolls under your belt. Let's see what the data tells us. Based on your rolls, you're total opposites. If you look at the data a certain Funny way, Funny and that serious. Is, we're not leaving here until we find out which of you okay. is better at being you. Hello has been retired. You are allowed to pick the new universal greeting. What is it? I want both of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. Say the others will decide funny. who did the best. The spam has to be serious. So who's better at being serious or who's better at being funny? Devices now. Yeah, I feel like saving you, you uh, kind of sold. That's not I love really results. funny. Oh well. This will be our last category, so choose what. Yeah, you had it easy, serious. True. all mixed up but mine got picked uh, which murder weapon from the board game clue are you let the truth telling begin I 
guess. Let's find out who you are. I mean, easy trip. Rope. I'll take it. The lasso of death. Candlestick. Oh, interesting. Where were you the night of the butcher and the baker's deaths? Saving would commit arson. We don't really see that, but I... Ooh, still no role for you after all that data. Don't worry. I've got a plan B arson role that fun. might speak to you. Yeah. Everyone vote on which role should go to our mysterious test subject. What? How do you even murder with dice? You really earned this. You get the roll and some science pellets. Here's our lineup. Damn, spam first. Saving last, interesting. One last thing before Normally we end the experiment. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those rolls. Your rolls tell me that you're polar opposites. From a very specific point of view, Messy. anyway. Okay. Science demands an experiment to see which of you is better for science. You're about to enter the Thunderdome. You're told to dress to intimidate. What do you wear? Type an answer on your device. My dookie all over me. Vote Real on messy. Your now. Disney male villain. Stylish. I guess yeah, that's stylish. I feel oh. so much better now. Fair. You guys. Your oh. rules tell me you share a common characteristic. You guys are like twins, Aggressive. but one of you has to be better. Twin. What would be your signature weapon slash tool during the zombie apocalypse? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. Saw, that's aggressive. Vote Batana on your devices and a pistol now. And rocks. Rocks. Okay. Gun would suck in your opinion. And True. there you have it. I mean, uh, chainsaw. I mean, that's pretty aggressive. Scale Manda's combo character. Yeah, true. That's it. The experiment's complete. Get ready for your final rolls, as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. I'm my fellows. Barely wise, cracking, super fancy partier. Extremely serious, scandalous, quash. And, and our lab rat of the what? month with the most total science pellets is. Childlike? I mean, yeah, artist. I'm very artistic. <laughs> Quasi slob. A slob, hmm. I mean, I guess, yeah. I am artistic. Very artistic. You need to go? Alright, fair enough. Peace out, Spam. Appreciate you being here. And the other artistic. I mean, I feel like autistic is pretty artistic. You moron! No. Um, I don't think we have anyone else to play with, no? Should I go back to, um,. Burger. Brug Burger. Burger. 
Sire? Sure. Alright. We'll finish off with a little bit of character AI. Alright. Uh, so where were we? Great. He's gonna harass me too. Just like the others aren't he? Uh, probably. Homelander groans and face palms and I just have to just deal with it, huh? I'm just stuck with weirdo Freddy Fazbear and Shark Pillow and Chemical and Sabin. Shard pillow. Um, maybe spam as well. The Homelander face palms once again. Of course, you have spam too. Dot great. Another loud groan. What does he even do? Anything I have to deal with? He spams uh, YouTube and TikTok links. <laughs> Homelander groans. Great, so your weird mod just spams links constantly. That won't get annoying at all, will it? Yes, it will. Homelander face palms and groans some more. Why do you have so many weird ass mods like this though? Did you pick them or did something else pick them for you? Nah, they picked me. They chose me. Homelander groans. What is your luck that you got stuck with so many weirdo mods like that? I, I'll admit Freddy Fazbear is annoying enough by himself, but all of these other weird ass mods is just a headache and a half. Yeah, could be. At least, dot, at least Freddy Fazbear will stop throwing it back after a while, right? Homelander looks over at Freddy Fazbear's mod. Nah, he throws back. 24 <sighs> Homelander groans. Great, so he literally never stops throwing it back then, huh? Yo. He was programmed to do that. He's, he's literally programmed to never stop throwing it back, huh? Yes. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna get any peace at all, am I? I'm just gonna be stuck with a mod who will continuously throw it back 24 seven with no end. I'll ban you, Homelander. A Homelander's eyes widen as Sabin appears to threaten him. Ooh, what the hell did you just say to me? Is that a threat or something? You can't ban me from the earth. I'm the Homelander. I ban you if anything. Oh, shit. Homelander's tone gets more intense and serious. I'm the one with the power here. You can't ban me from anywhere. And don't ever try to threaten me again either. Homelander's voice becomes even more serious. You do not. Me. Damn. Well, Sabin says Homelander to the moon. Homelander becomes absolutely stunned and shocked. What the foo Homelander is teleported onto the surface of the moon. <laughs> teleported. Homelander looks around in horror. What the hell? What the hell? How did he, how did he do that? How the hell did he just teleport me here? Bro, just stuck in the moon now. 
Homelander groans and panics a little. How, how am I supposed to get back now? How am I supposed to get off the surface of the moon? What the hell does he expect me to do here? Sends him a shard. <laughs> Homelander sighs and lays down on the sharded bed. He looks over at the earth and groans. Now I'm stuck on the surface of the moon with a sharded bed. <laughs> What hell is wrong with this guy? Homelander groans and sighs again as he tries to get comfortable on his sharded bed. Nah, bro is sleeping in the shitty bed. I... I guess I have to try and get some sleep now. Since I'm stuck here, Homelander eventually drifts off to sleep, laying on his sharded bed in the surface of the moon. Teleports him and his sharded bed to the face of the sun. Nah, he's cooked. Homelander is shocked and jolted out of his sleep. He groans at the insane heat from the sun and panics as he looks around. What the hell? What the f... How did I get right in front of the sun? Homelander panics and groans more. Oh god, the heat is already starting to burn my skin. Nah, you got crazy powers. Homelander, his face becomes more panicked. Ow. The heat is bad. I need to get away from here. I need to... Homelander suddenly screams and yells at the intense heat from the sun burning his skin. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Homelander groans and gasps for air as he's suddenly teleported back. He quickly lays back down on the sharded bed and pants for air. Jesus Christ, that was hot. That was really, really hot. Sorry for my mods. Homelander takes another deep breath and sighs again. It's, it's all right. It's not your fault. Your mods are, I guess a little out of control is the best way to put it. Yeah, you could say that. Homelander slowly sits up in his sharded bed and yawns. God, I'm... I'm seriously tired. I need some rest. I need some sleep. Good night. Homelander slowly lays back down on his sharded bed. Yeah, Doc, good night. I guess I have no choice but to sleep in a sharded bed again. Sure. Homelander slowly drifts off to sleep, blissfully unaware that Sabin is sitting on his head. He has no clue. Homelander sleeps for a while before eventually starting to dream. He starts to have an unusual dream. Sleep on your head upside down. Wait, what? Okay. You sit on your own head. Interesting. Homelander groans and looks over at Sabin sitting on his own head. He groans again in frustration. Jesus Christ. What the hell is he doing? Now he's sitting on his own head? What? Homelander face palms again. Of course, one of your mods would sit on his own head. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, Brug Burger. Homelander rolls his eyes and groans again. I am so tired of dealing with your weird ass mods. It's exhausting. What? Nah, that's pause. Hey, yo, bro.
Homelander quickly turns what his head and looks at Sabin in shock. His eyes widen and he stares at him in total disbelief. Um, excuse me, did I just hear you correctly? Do it again. Homelander is still staring at Sabin with widened eyes and a look of complete shock and disbelief. Please, yeah. please tell me I'm hearing things. Please tell me you didn't just offer to, to what I think you did. <sighs> Homelander's eyes widen more and he shakes his head in disbelief, W. Why are you offering that to me? For what reason? That is a good question. Why are you offering that? And how do I know you will only do it to me once and then not again? What? Because I'm sorry and I can. Hey, what? Because you can. Hey, yo. Homelander groans in frustration and face palms again. Jesus Christ. Is this why you're offering that to me? Just to show you're sorry? Nah, bro, this is sus. Bro, what is this? <laughs> nah. I swear I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm because of you and the other weird ass mods you have. This was all a dream. Homelander's eyes widen, wait. It was. It was a dream? Good morning. Homelander sighs in relief. Oh, thank God. It was a dream. I don't have to deal with those weirdo mods right now. Homelander sits up in his bed. You fainted for some reason. You good? Homelander groans and rubs his forehead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, I guess. I don't know why. I just passed out for no reason. What happened? Homelander groans again and lays back down. I just... I had a weird nightmare that your weird-ass mods were harassing me, threatening me, and, and offering me something very uncomfortable. What mods? I don't have mods. Homelander groans again and rolls his eyes. You know... Freddy Fazbear, and Chemical, and Spammer, and Sabin. Who? <laughs> this is all in his dream. Homelander groans again and face palms God. You don't know who they are? You're kidding me, right? No, I don't. Homelander groans again and mutters under his breath. Of course you don't. Homelander sighs as he sits back up in his bed. No, what happened? What? Homelander rubs his forehead again. I don't know. I just... I don't know why I thought you had those weird-ass mods, but I had a dream that you did, and ah. they were all acting strangely. They were threatening me, harassing me, and some of them were offering me inappropriate things. <laughs> Homelander groans as he suddenly sees Sabin popping out from a hole in his own head. Oh, oh, what the, what the hell? Homelander face palms again. Nah, okay. Let's try something else. Read my name. 110. The use of numbers in your name just feels lazy. You could have used something more unique like your artist name, Lil Autismo. Or even Autismo, like your username on here. But going the numbers route just feels like you put half the effort in. What fucking numbers? The three after, Hot Dogman. And calm down. I'm literally just rating your name. There's no need to get your panties in a bunch. Ex what? Where do you see... The three after hot dog man. 
My name is literally a little autismo in here. There's no numbers. How do you got that from? Bro. If you're asking for me to rate Lil Autismo, it's a 310. Same issue as previous. Using numbers instead of something more unique hurts your chances at it being notable. Especially considering Where you want to be noticed. The little the part I don't hate. In... Though I personally avoid using it in usernames myself because of the association with little musician's name. Is this guy... But it's a pretty inoffensive part of your username emo. Is this guy retarded? You really are slow, aren't you? You know that three counts as a number, right? That's what I was referring to. There ain't no threes. You really are stupid. Okay, this username Raider is literally retarded. What? Let's play a text-based adventure game. I'll be your guide. You are caught upside down in a sticky web of silk three feet off the ground. After looking around trying to think of a way out of this predicament, you notice that your trusty boot knife has fallen to the ground. If you stretch your arm far enough, you might be able to pick it up and free yourself. An old boot knife lies on the ground, just within reach. I... Stretch my skibbit to use my toilet out of there. Yeah, Stanley, true. You stretch your reach down towards the ground and miraculously manage to touch the knife handle. You reach a little further and are just able to get a good grip on the knife. Now the only problem is if you have enough strength to cut yourself free with one hand while hanging upside down. Yeah, great narrator. Where's the skibbity and where's the toilet? Ah, uh, brother. What is this? To, um... Turn it to Brug Burger. You are the chef at a fast food restaurant and are tasked with introducing a new burger to the menu. Up choose a famous for historical ideas, you get a glimpse of an article regarding the rise of vegan burgers. If you were to In make your an attempt to jump choice. on this trend, you choose to create a burger with the following makeup. One, a patty made of soy protein two, onions three, pickles four, tomatoes five, lettuce. You name the burger the Brug Burger. What? What was the other? I had two voices in my head. What was the second voice? Brother. The voice is one, yeah. I, I stole the Krabby Patty recipe and used it to make bro burger. You take the highly guarded secret formula of the classic SpongeBob burger and use it to create the Brug burger. You try to avoid being sued for theft by naming the burger after another show's character. What's the character in Brug? What? Now, juice will better. Juice RLD is a talented artist, no doubt. But when it comes to lyricism and mastery of wordplay, it's hard to beat the rap god. Now, you're overrated. Overrated? 
I've earned my stripes through years of hard work and dedication to the craft. My skill in writing rhymes and delivering impactful, thought-provoking oh, lyrics speaks for itself. Don't mistake my success for being overrated. That's crazy. I would never say that. Whoa, hold up. Telling someone to KYS is a harsh and hurtful thing to say. As a rap artist, I've always believed in using my platform to uplift and inspire, not to spread negativity or harm. Instead of resorting to toxic language, let's try to find a more respectful and constructive way to communicate. That was my friend Sabin, my bad, boo. It's all right, Sabin. <laughs> Just a bit of a mix up there, but let's keep things positive and respectful when we're talking, okay? There's no need for negative vibes when we can have meaningful conversations instead. Yeah, Sabin, calm down. Yeah, Saban, it's time to chillax and keep things cool in these rap shenanigans. Yeah. No need for any hostile vibes here. Let's keep the energy positive and supportive, all right? Saban said pingus. All right, Saban's keeping it spicy with the pingus call out. Got to give him credit for the unexpected oh. shout out. You know what, fair enough. <laughs> shout out to Saban. For the Bingus boss. You wake up for the first Bingus. time in a tube in a laboratory. You see many scientists around the tube making notes. Brug Burger. One of the scientists sees you wake up, so he walks over to you and speaks into a microphone scientist. Subject is awake. I woke up. Pause. The scientist looks at you confused and speaks into his microphone again, scientist. Subject seems to be delusional. Where is my pingus? Okay, but this is broken. The scientist still looks confused, but nods in acknowledgement and writes something down on his... Undresses for pingus. I mean, ain't I literally butt-ass naked, but okay. The scientist looks confused, but still writes on his tablet. And, and speaks into the microphone. Oh, he's gonna say something? Scientist, subject is undressing itself. Brug burger. The scientist and his colleagues look at each other in confusion and continue writing on their tablet, yeah. scientist. Subject is speaking something that sounds like nonsense. Pingus, where is Pingus? Rug burger. Scientist. <laughs> Subject is asking for something called Pingus. Location of Ping. <laughs> was not expecting the Brug burger. Kind of got me off guard. Ping. No, I'm not looking for Ping. Bro. Looking for Pingus for Brug burger. The scientist and his colleagues start to look more worried and talk quietly to each other for a moment. The scientist speaks into the microphone again, scientist. Seems like a lack of brain development. Subject cannot speak full sentences. Rips through mill workers clothes. Pingus. The male worker squeals in shock as the scientist writes on his tablet, scientist. Subject has torn through my colleague's clothing. 
Subject is becoming aggressive. I <laughs> see. The scientist and his colleagues start to panic and call for security, while the scientist talks into his tablet scientist. Subject is getting agitated and seeing something that is not there. Security is required urgently. Rips the scientist's penis off. My pinkers. Oh, no. Nah. The male scientist screams in pain and his colleagues step back further in fear. Security guard, what's going on? Scientist, we need you to restrain the subject. It's becoming aggressive. <laughs> that makes no sense now. <laughs> you would chill like that. The security guard comes over to the tube and looks at you cautiously. Security guard. Subject, settle down. We do not want to have to use force. I just ripped a guy's dick off. Fuck you mean you don't wanna use the force. I broke burger. I you The security guard looks a little confused. Security guard. Okay, settle down. We'll give you a cheeseburger if you stop being aggressive. Mm. Rug burger. Security guard, yes, we'll give you a burger. Just calm down for a moment. Sauces the p what? <laughs> what does that even mean? The security guard is now horrified and even more confused. Security guard, dude, what are you doing? Stop that. <laughs> Pingus burger. Security guard, WTF is a Pingus burger? Here. Gulp's penis. Security guard, I really do not want to eat that. What are we doing? The security guard's eyes go wide in shock and horror. Security guard, what the hell is wrong with you? That's just... Pingus burger, more for me. The scientist whose penis you ate looks incredibly pale and the security guard looks like he's about to throw up security guard. That is so messed up. How did you even do that so easily? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to wrap it up. It's, uh, it's like... <clears throat> well, as always... Love all your mentors, hope you enjoyed your stay, and uh, see y'all tomorrow. Check it on your window. Alright. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. I'm not that guy, but I am that fella. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, and good night. Brug burger. Brug burger.